One of the biggest fears that salespeople have is overcoming objections. And the only reason you're scared of objections is because you're not ready for them. If you could prepare to overcome each and every objection, what would be the problem? So, we broke them down into four different compartments and we've called them DAMS. The things that stop you from moving forward. D-A-M-S. Drawbacks, apathy, misunderstanding and scepticism. Number one, drawbacks. Drawbacks are things that you can't do, your service can't achieve or your company can't deliver. Stop feeling guilty about it and recognise that either it's your customer or it's not. If you have lots of great things to offer the customer and it can outweigh that single drawback, then you need to uncover that with great questioning and help the customer see it. If the drawback's still the most important thing to them, they're not your customer. Number two, apathy. Apathy says, I don't see the need. I don't see the need to change. I don't see the need to move. I don't see the need to swap my supplier. When you're apathetic, not being able to see the need could actually cause you problems. If you actually have a problem and you can't see it, then you need a great salesperson to save the day. Ask great questions, uncover the real needs, and once I have needs, I will no longer feel apathy. Number three, misunderstandings. Essentially, misunderstandings are all your fault. It can't be the customer's fault they didn't understand something you were trying to tell them. Nobody likes to be told they've got an ugly baby. If you've got a misunderstanding, take the blame and re-explain. It's never the customer's fault. Number four, scepticism. Scepticism is a customer telling you that they don't believe you. Now don't take offence. Why should we believe you? You're a salesperson. That's the way we've been brought up. 50% of salespeople are going to try and rip me off over the next week. So why wouldn't you? To overcome scepticism, we need a proof statement, a certificate, a testimonial from a customer. Just show me some level of proof that what you're telling me is the truth and we can move forward.